In this video, I want to provide a short summary of all the new features and changes that you're going to see in the FileMaker 15 platform. Now this is going to come fast and furious and if you want to know more about these capabilities and changes then feel free to check out our FileMaker Pro 15 video training course where we dive into all this in more detail. First off, it's important to note that this FileMaker release is FileMaker's first annual release where they're working on a tighter annual schedule to deliver to customers a consistent product. And this means that we're going to see updates more often, more frequently. Now real quick, I want to mention that the FileMaker 15 platform has not changed the file format of the FileMaker files. So all the FileMaker files used in 15 are still the dot fmp12 file format and that means fundamentally that you can mix elements of the FileMaker 15 platform with previous releases however there are some limitations to that but the important takeaway is that there is no conversion of your FileMaker file to start using the FileMaker 15 platform there's new versions of FileMaker Pro for Mac and Windows there's a new version of FileMaker Server with its own set of improvements. There's a new version of FileMaker Go for iPhone and iPad. And there's also a new corresponding release for the FileMaker iOS app SDK, or what we call FIUS. Now with FileMaker Pro, there's a whole stack of important upgrades. And they're all incremental improvements to the product. The biggest one that I want to point out is a radical improvement in performance when FileMaker Pro is connecting to a database that's hosted on a server that's out on the internet, i.e. the database is not in your office on a server, it's out somewhere else. It's at a different office, it's in the cloud, it's somewhere else. To demonstrate this, we're going to do a split screen opening here. We are here in California and we are going to log on to a copy of FM Starting Point with about 120,000 records in it. So on the left here we have a copy of FileMaker 14 and we're going to use that to open a database on a server that's in Japan. So say for example we have a worldwide organization or maybe I'm on a different continent or I'm on the other side of the continent. On the right side of the screen here I have a video of me opening the same solution with FileMaker Pro 15. Okay. So once again, the server is a 15 server, but we can connect to it with FileMaker 14 and 15. So I'm going to go ahead and press the start button here and boom, off we go. And once again, these were actually done at two different times, but we're mixing the video here together for you. Now you can see on the right, 15 has already opened up the file and we're ready to use it. And we're still, of course, waiting for 14 to catch up. BAM! As you can see, using FileMaker Pro 15 to connect to a database across the internet is going to be about 300% faster than using older FileMaker Pro 14. So this is the speed that we see as FileMaker opens up and launches a remote database. This is the time it takes before our users can be effectively using the application, making changes, uh, doing deletes, adds, edits, whatever we want to do. The point is, is that it's three times faster to get our users going and using a solution by leveraging FileMaker Pro 15. Now there's additional performance improvements in other areas, but this one is the most striking. Now throughout the FileMaker Pro platform, there's been additional updates to the security system within FileMaker. FileMaker is paying more attention and providing more visibility on whether your connection is secured and encrypted and whether the SSL certificate that's on the FileMaker server is valid and up to date. And of course, this leads us into an area where there's a litany of small but important updates. For example, within FileMaker Pro 15, there's an automatic updater now that the users can press, like in other applications where you just press the button and the app updates to a new bug release version. If you're writing scripts within the script workspace, there's all sorts of improvements that allow you to undo the work that you do. So if you make a mistake, you can roll it backwards. Great improvements there. There's a new obscure edit field, so if you're building your own security, you're doing some things where you don't want the users to see what's maybe being typed, uh, people around them might be looking over their shoulder, there's a new obscure edit field which is pretty cool. 
and there's all sorts of other minor improvements to the product. Now with FileMaker Go, there's a couple neat features that have been added to this, specifically Touch ID. So if you have a newer iOS device and you use your fingerprint to identify or use the security within the product, FileMaker can tap into that to allow you quick access to your FileMaker file. Additionally, there's the force control, which is in plain English kind of a variable pressure sensitivity within the product. So you can actually push a little harder on the icon and it will show you the recent files that you've opened. So coupling this with the Touch ID makes for a very quick and easy access to a mobile solution. While it might seem minor, this makes a big difference to your mobile users for getting into the database quickly. Now there's also iBeacon support that's being added to FileMaker Go. And this allows FileMaker Go to go out and sense these little radio transmitters that can be put in different products or in the warehouse or things like that. So if you're not familiar with iBeacon, go check it out. But FileMaker Go 15 supports iBeacon. Now with FileMaker Server, we have all sorts of videos where we're covering the improvements with Server, but FileMaker Server 15 supports additional types of SSL certificates, which is nice. It also has about an 8% performance improvement as tested by some of the senior developers in the FileMaker community, and we have videos on that. FileMaker Server 15 also will recover from an overload condition if you push it too hard. So say, for example, you have a large organization and suddenly you have 200 people that push hard on the server and you tend to overload it. Uh, FileMaker Server 15 recovers from that overload condition much easier. It's actually much more robust under the hood, which is great. Now within the FileMaker platform, there's the ability for FileMaker to talk to Oracle, Microsoft SQL, and MySQL. Well, with 15, FileMaker has added the ability for FileMaker to talk to DB2 and Postgres, which is a welcome addition if you're in the technical part of the community that you need those kinds of connections. FileMaker WebDirect has been improved and specifically for support for mobile phones. With WebDirect for FileMaker 14, they radically improved the performance and in other videos we have we show how FileMaker doubled the performance of the product. Well, with WebDirect 15, we have explicit support for smaller mobile devices, which means that sort dialogues and login dialogues and all these dialogues that were made for larger screens have been downsized for smaller mobile devices to access a FileMaker solution. And lastly, with the 15 release, FileMaker Incorporated is rolling out a new licensing program, which is vastly easier to understand. It's called FileMaker License for Teams, and so basically when you have a group of people that need access to FileMaker, your team, you simply add up the number of people in that team and you simply buy this one package which includes server, pro, go, and web direct access all to a hosted database. So instead of buying separate products and worrying that you have some people on iPad and some people on Macs or Windows and some people on Androids on mobile devices, you don't worry about buying separate things. All you do is count the number of people, pay the price per user for that group, it's one line item, and you get all these products in one simple package. Now of course there's more details to dig into here, but I'm out of time for this video. So feel free to check out the latest product release at FileMaker.com or take advantage of our FileMaker Pro 15 video course at LearningFileMaker.com.